Hey everyone, how's it going? So today I'm going to be doing a review of one of my carriers and that would be the Samapo Gear 6094 with the K front. So first I'm going to list, list the features that I'm going to go about the quality, materials, stuff I don't like, stuff I do like, things I'd like to see improve, and uh, just my kind of uh, experience with it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about this. So I'll just talk about the the front of it first, the 6094K. So the, one of the biggest characteristics of the 6094K is the triple mag shingle up front, the built-in with built-in mag flaps. These are great. They have the perfect amount of retention in both the Velcro and the elastic. So it's great. You could hold one mag in there. It, it's not going to come out. You know, two mags in there without it. You really kind of shoving it in there, and possibly ripping something, and uh, it's still easy to take out. And of course, you can to, uh, and that's for M4 mags. You can run two MP7 mags in there. I did it. Ran perfectly fine. You could run uh, possibly an AK mag in there if you should have enough room to run three AK mags. I don't know about running six. Uh, that seems a bit too much. But we have grommets on the on the bottom to allow allow drainage so just in case you have water spilled on you or it's raining a lot your pouches are not going to be filled with water which is also a plus you know you don't want to be walking around with a ton of water up front then of course we just have a single column of uh, molly next to them so I have a tourniquet and a Eagle Industries pouch now the another thing I want to talk about the velcro I'll just kind of go into it right now and that is how closely it resembles my Eagle Industries pouch Velcro, the uh, AR1. So, I mean, at a distance you can't even really tell. You'd have to really look up close to see a difference. And then it's also because this pouch has been used a little bit more than this has. So, this may or may not change. I could probably just rub a little bit of dirt on it and it would look identical. So that's that. Uh, another thing I like about the, the flaps is the length of them. I wasn't a biggest fan at first, but because I started running six mags up front, the length really made sense, as instead of it kind of falling all the way down or being way too high, it sits in there rather perfectly when you have uh, two mags in there. So it should sit similar to that. And of course we have nice little tabs up front to, uh, to pull the pouches up. Then we have tabs on either side of the front flap, just easier to lift it, so that's pretty nice. Now going behind and above the mag flaps, we have a nav board pouch or just another admin pouch. So as I said, you can put a navigation board. Not really anything that you might want to use for airsoft, but nevertheless, it's there. You know, a lot of, it's on the real carrier, so some up will put it on their carrier. That just shows some of the attention to detail that they have. Now, it's pretty deep. It goes about, I want to say, four to five inches deep and about four inches, four to five inches wide. So you could put a pretty hefty uh, knife in there if you wanted to, as I know a lot of people do that. But yeah, there's another admin pouch you could put a map, any type of small things in there, maybe even a phone. Uh, you could put a phone in there and you wouldn't have to worry about it getting hit by BBs. So that's pretty cool. Now, Let's go on to the inside, literally the inside the front, plate, uh, front plate pocket. It holds my SNS Precision training plates in there perfectly, and of course you can see the little pouch in there for the uh, navigation board admin. So it goes on the inside of the carrier, it doesn't go on the inside of the flaps or nothing like that. So moving up, we have a very nice large piece of Velcro. To, for your admin, or in front of your admin, I should say. A very nice large piece of uh, flap there, so it retains anything you put in your admin. So it doesn't come out like my right in the rain notepad. I got a V light in there and some uh, Sharpies, just for whatever. We have more webbing on, the, on either side to allow comms, so we have kind of whatever you want to put on there. It, there's a ton of different options on there. I put mine, uh, this setup, as you've seen in my other video, my Ironclad video. Uh, so this is how I had mine set up, and that's kind of how I did this video. 
just because that's how I used it. Now another thing I want to note before uh, I get really into it is this does come with an internal cummerbund. So if you feel like you need more, uh, I guess, for tension or just more stability even, you could have this. And on the inside of the back, we have Velcro. It goes through on either side right here. The Velcro's down so it doesn't slide from side to side. And we have tabs on the inside of the front that this goes into. I didn't use this because I just didn't feel like I needed to. Uh, the cummerbund, the external cummerbund is more than adequate and I'm going to go ahead and talk about that now. So we'll just talk about this side as the other side just kind of has too much shit on it. Obviously they're identical. We have a very nice comfortable uh, padding right here and actually before I even forget so does the rest of the carrier pretty much. Everywhere that's going to touch your body is going to have very nice comfortable padding. We have it up front in the K panel, we have it in the back panel, and of course we have it on the shoulder straps. So literally every piece of this carrier that is going to be touching your body is going to have some sort of, some sort of padding, which is, as I said, very comfortable. And when you're running this for very, very long extended periods of time, like six, seven hours, you really do want that padding. So, we have, of course, a ton of molly on the sides. We have three rows, and I forget how many columns. I think it's, I can even count right now for you. So one, two, three, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I want to say there's at, at least nine, probably ten, I can't see because it goes in there. So the attachment system is just like every other cummerbund system. There's a uh, shock cord in there that's just rooted through the cummerbund and you just tighten it down and tie it up for if you want it more snug or if you're a bigger guy you can loosen it up just stuff like that so the inside of the external cummerbund as I said has some very nice padding and when you're running comms like uh, a 148 or a 152 this will definitely save you from having those very huge bruises uh, I run my 152 usually on a internal pouch that's attached to the cumber, or attached to the front plate pocket, and there's usually not a lot of padding on it, if any at all. And I walk away, and I have a huge bruise about this big on my side. So with this, the bruising was very, very minimal. And the way it attaches is we, of course, just have a button with some paracord on the front. So that's pretty great. So if you need it longer, which I did need it longer because I used a 152, which is a lot bigger, and I just use my own paracord. That's not a problem at all. A very simple thing that you can do. Another thing I did was I just added some uh, Velcro on the bottom just so the hook of this Velcro, if it sits low, it doesn't really eat at my shirt and I don't have frays just in one spot so it just kind of keeps my shirt from having too much excess wear or even a, uh, a hoodie or a jacket. Now the Molly uh, is stitched perfectly fine. I took off a couple of these pouches and looked at the stitching to see if any tears were happening, any loose stitching was happening, nothing at all. Every single one of the uh, Maui on 90% of this carrier, 99% of this carrier that I checked was perfectly fine. There was nothing wrong with it. Very, very strong stitching, very strong materials. You could also hold two magazine pouches, or two magazines in here with uh, relatively ease. Then of course we have some velcro and another flap so you can put a hard armor plate in here if you wish or anything else that may, may fit in there. I just have my pouches on the side. If you don't know what these pouches are you can go ahead and check out my ironclad video as I went through everything on this carrier. We have a of course large piece of velcro on the front and the back to connect with the 1694K and we have a nice little bit of paracord here, so it's easier to rip off. It pulls it at the top and the bottom, held in there by grommets. And what's nice is when you pull this, it pulls at the edges. So the edges peel off first, and it's just, it comes off really, really easily. So now let's go on to the back panel. We'll talk about the back, the inside of the back first. As I said, we have that very nice padding in there that will save you, definitely, for sure. And we have Velcro for the internal cummerbund, and Velcro up top. 
and the Velcro is the same color as what's in front on the mag flaps. It might be a little bit darker because it was against my skin and I sweat on it quite a bit, so it's going to even come to a much more natural color, similar to the Eagle Industries pouch. So, it's very soft Velcro, and of course you can put your uh, pig pontoons there for extra padding if you really feel like you have need to, and we have some, some more up here. And honestly, just the Velcro on here is just enough extra material and padding to, uh, to make this carrier that much more comfortable. Now, just above that, we have the Samapo Gear tag, which honestly I think is really cool. I know a lot of people don't really like reproduction tags on their, uh, their repo gear, but I'm actually a big fan of it when you have such a high quality piece of gear like this, and you get to show off the tag, and you know it's authentically by Samapo Gear. Now, I would like to see whoever made this or inspected it to uh, put their little initials on there. I think that just might add another cool piece of, uh, I don't know, I just think it'd be pretty cool. Now on the back, we have a very large drag handle, which somebody actually dragged me by, and of course we have no loose stitching, and it looks perfectly intact. We have eight rows of, excuse me, eight columns of molly, but honestly only six of them, the six middle ones, are usable. You know, as I said, sorry I didn't take off these pouches. I, you know what this carrier looks like from pictures and all that other stuff. But I can tell you off of the quality, there's absolutely no loose stitching whatsoever. If you could kind of see in there. None of this, I mean there's even a twig in there, thrown in there. None of the stitching is coming loose at all. We have a very nice big drag handle like I said. And if you look at the shoulder straps in the back, we have double, possibly even triple stitching. I, it's hard to really tell, but it's nice and tight, so you can tug on this all day long, and it's not going to come loose. We have uh, Velcro for communications, or uh, Hydro, or pretty much anything else you want to put on. It's on either side, and what I really like about it is they have a little piece of webbing that goes around it, so you don't have this big piece of tan sitting there, so it's color matched to the rest of the carrier. On this side, it's holding one of my antennas, and I just have some rubber band in there. Just to, for more retention because it will move back and forth. Now, as I said, we have eight rows, or excuse me, eight columns and six rows, but the six columns, the inner columns, are the only usable ones. The two on either side are rather small, which is just like what, uh, what the real one has on their newer versions, on some of their newer versions. So you can see how small it is there. I'm sure if you really tried and got some uh, small little pliers, you could pull through and get a pouch on there. I didn't really uh, want to because, I, as you can tell, I'm already running quite a few pouches on here, and I'm going to slim it down. I just wanted to see how well this worked with low bearing, and it worked perfectly fine. Very comfortable, as I said. The, the back has the same attachment as the front does, and as you can see, my SNS uh, training plate is in there as well. Now, moving on to the shoulder pads. The shoulder pads are very nice. They have a very high quality padding materials, just like the rest of the carrier, as I said before. What's really cool about this, and what I haven't seen in any other carriers, re, uh, reproduction carriers at least, is they have Velcro on the bottom. So when you put the shoulder straps on, there's Velcro on the shoulder straps that actually, excuse me, the shoulder pads that actually integrate with that so you don't have any movement and you can set this perfectly how you want it and it will stay there and I think that's pretty cool it's just another attention to detail that I don't really see often in reproduction carriers and of course we have communications routing cable stuff on uh, the shoulder pads now that moves on to the only gripe that I really have on this carrier and that is my right shoulder pad, the little velcro piece, the little velcro uh, cable piece, I guess you would say, actually ripped off uh, once I put my contacts through it and my hydration tube and I just looked the other way, just ripped it right off. It was single stitched, so as I said, that's the only problem I have with it. It's not really a big deal, and as you look at that, you can't even tell that it was stitched in there. So if I really wanted to, I could, of course, just get a, uh, a needle and 
some thread and easily put it back on there. Uh, it's easier to get to if you even want to take, you can take this off and go through a sewing machine and do it. I mean, it literally would take you 10 minutes and it's really not that big of a deal. It's definitely not a deal breaker for me for everything else being so high quality. And the only other gripe I have with this carrier is my right side shoulder strap. The material is coming, or the uh, thread is coming loose a little bit, just a tiny bit. I'm not sure if that's picking it up in the video or not, but it's a very, very, very small fraction of uh, something to worry about. As I said, it's only on my right side, so it might have been me. I might have fell or somebody might have grabbed me and yanked on this carrier rather uh, hard and pulled me away. But that's the only thing. So the other one is coming the tiniest, tiniest bit, not really at all. Definitely nothing to put a note on. And uh, so the only thing I would really like to see different with this carrier is just reinforcements on the Velcro cables on either side and just a little bit of reinforcements on the shoulder straps in the front as much as the back has had. Because the back, that's just, you're going to end up ripping the Cordura before you rip out that stitching. So, yeah, of course everything is real authentic AOR1, just like pretty much everything else Samapa puts out. Uh, it's really great. I love this carrier. If I were going to rate this carrier, uh, you know, a number value from 1 to 10, 10 being the best, I would definitely have to give this a good 9, or at the very, very least an 8.5. Now, that's my experience. Your mileage may vary. I would highly recommend some Apple Gear uh, carriers as I feel like they are probably the most accurate carriers there are. We have everything from real material, like the AR1 fabric, to high quality Velcro, to ITW hardware even. Very, very nice comfortable padding. They really pay attention to detail from all the little Velcro pieces. The correct spot for the, uh, the nav gear pouch. They really do their homework when they make these carriers. Um, the stitching is phenomenal. The only bad parts were, you know, just in the shoulder straps where you're going to get the most wear, even on real carriers. If you have any questions or comments, you know where to leave them. Make sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. It really, really helps. Uh, make sure to like my Facebook page, too. I try to update, update that daily, if not, you know, every couple days. Go ahead and like some Apple Gear's Facebook page. Tell them, you know, you love their gear. They love hearing that. They do this for us, and it really shows. And as always, you know, have a good one.